I need PySide to do an embedded browser. So I can pip install PySide at the C prompt. I hit enter and it tells me it's downloading packages. And now it is done. It has installed the collected packages and tells me it has successfully installed PySide 1.2.4. And I am returned to my DOS prompt. Well, now that we've finished installing PySide, let's get to work on this embedded browser. So I start off by telling it the following. System, from the PySide, no other side, the PySide of Qt Core, import everything. And I shouldn't get any errors, so all is well. Well, I say from the PySide dot Qt GUI, import star. Oh, no. There's no module called PySide. Oh, my God, how did that happen? Well, this command is case sensitive. From PySide, capital P and capital S, PySide dot Qt GUI, import star. Now it'll work. From PySide, capital S, I, D, E, dot, capital Q, T, capital W, E, B. Oh, camel casing is a horror. K, I, T, import, star. And that worked too. So, what have we done so far? We've imported everything from PySide QD Core and QD GUI and a QD Web Kit. Now that we've got these three under our belt, let's get to writing the program. First thing I do is, just like James Bond, I say Q. I want to write an application. Q is the guy who's always doing the fancy stuff in the James Bond movies. And then the squares, I'm handing it an empty list. Handing who an empty list? All right, I have to have a variable over here. So I'll call this my program. My program will be an application made by Q. That sounds very James Bondish. I hit enter and it worked. My program is going to need a view. And so I'll say, Q, I want a web view. Open close prints. And he says, okay, James Bond, I'll give you a web view. My program view will require that I set the geometry of the window. Let's give the window start and end points. Let's give it 100, 100, and 600, and 400. Hit enter. And, oh my goodness, no errors. No, I'd like to give it a, a URL. The name of my variable will be URL, and that's going to be equal to the following. A site on YouTube called Hoboken Gare. That is a very good place to go. Well, the next thing I would like to do, I don't have to do it, but I'd like to do it, is I'd like to take my program view and set the window title. Now the window title, as I did in my text editor, will contain the address of the location that my browser is currently looking at. Now I tell my Program view, MPV. Well, I need you to load something. Well, you're not to load it. Tell Q. You know that URL? Yes, load that URL. Oh, curses upon the gods of Camel Casing. I have erred again. MPV.load. Q. Load the U, capital U, R L, called URL. And it does so. Now, MBV, my program view, show yourself. And I hit enter, but he doesn't show himself. Oh my god. What did I do that was wrong? I didn't do anything that was wrong. Now I have one more thing to do. I have to tell my program to go and execute his silly self. Oh, and I have to put that silly underscore there. Execute. I did that already. Open close friends, and here we go. Bingo, there it is. Here is our embedded web browser.
and I'm at my web page and there's Python GUI DBase system and let me make that a bit wider and there's my digital logic etc etc let me grab my normal web browser put that in here and you can see I'm at YouTube C Hoboken GAR and I'll drag this down in there we can see the same thing there's my Python playlist and my digital logic playlist etc so this worked still a lot of work to be done on this yet but these are the basics to get you started this is George Bull good luck now